Yes, the topic is projections of solids. A question is given like this. Draw the projections of a cylinder of base diameter 50 mm and axis length 100 mm resting on VP with its base such that its axis is inclined at 40 degree to the VP. So whenever the axis is inclined to VP means that angle of inclination will come below the XY line. That you have to remember. Based on the previous video, we can understand this concept. So first, simple position front view is constructed, called the circle. The front part of the cylinder that is shown like this is marked in terms of letters A, B, C, D. Okay. So you can follow like this. So the front portion of the cylinder is marked in terms of letters. So draw a circle of diameter 50 mm. So radius will be half of that, called 25 mm. So using compass, you try a circle of diameter 50 mm. So next you divide the circle into 8 equal parts and it is marked as A dash, B dash, C dash, D dash, E, F dash, G dash, H dash. So the merged point with A dash will be the base of the cylinder marked in terms of numbers. That is the lower part of the cylinder is marked in terms of numbers. Top surface is marked in terms of letters A, B, C, D. So the merger point will, with A dash will be 1 dash. The merger point with B dash will be 2 dash. The merger points are indicated by means of using a bracket that is uh, put inside the bracket. So C dash the merger point will be 3 dash written inside the bracket. So D dash the merger point will be 4 dash. So the front part of the cylinder is marked in terms of letters and the back part of the cylinder that is base is marked in terms of numbers. So this dash will come in the front view alone the friend, final front view and the final simple position front view the dash will come whereas the simply letters alone in terms of uh, top view there's a difference in notations followed uh. so after drawing the circle and draw an xy line called the reference line and the distance in the circle and the lower part of the cylinder circle and the xy line take your own distance it can be some you can take 10 mm 20 mm whatever it is called the distance above the hp so not details is not given about, about the distance above the xy line. So above the hp the distance is not given in the question. So take your own distance and draw a reference line called xy line. Then uh, using a vertical scale of your drafter, draw vertical projectors using 2H pencil like this. From C suffix C dash, D dash, E dash, F dash, G dash, H dash. So as the question is given that resting on VP. Resting on VP means one end of the cylinder will be in contact with the XY line. That you have to remember. Based on the previous videos, you can understand this concept. So in contact with the XY line, in touching with the XY line, consider this rectangle called the simple position top view. The front view are marked in terms, in terms of letters. That is shown at here A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. The back part of the cylinder is marked in terms of letters. That is numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 6, 7, 6, 7, 8 are merged points with 3, 4 and 2 respectively. Next, the dimension. The dimension carries marks. The circle is diameter is given as uh, 50 mm. So, draw an inclined line called the leader line. Leader line and uh, written as uh, pi 50. Pi is the notation used to indicate the diameter of the cylinder. So, pi 50. Next, the height or the length of the cylinder is given as 100 mm. Don't write mm, just you write the numbers magnitude alone. Later we can write all dimensions are in mm at the lower part of your diagram at last. So after constructing this uh, what is called as a simple portion front view and simple portion top view. Then we go for final front view and final top view. That is this both the diagrams. So as it is given that uh, axis is inclined to it, inclined at 40 degree to the VP. So whenever the axis is inclined to VP means that angle of inclination will always come below the XY line. So take a point on the XY line. Draw one inclined line at an angle of 40 degree by keeping your protector like this. So this point which you have chosen must be in coincidence with this center point of your protector. So with this uh, setting of your protector, draw one inclined line at an angle of 40 degree so that you can draw this inclined line and the angle is marked as 40 degree. So you must know that the cylinder size is given as, uh, that is diameter is given as 50 mm. So half of that will be the radius, 25 mm. That is, next step is, you release your scale of your drafter by rotating the nut of your drafter in anti-clockwise. So keep your longer scale of your drafter in coincidence with this inclined line, that is a 40 degree line. 
and it rotate the nut in clockwise so that the scale is not disturbed. With the same setting of your drafter scale, draw this this line. Draw this line. So that so while you draw this line, see that this distance is 25 mm. Just by sliding of your drafter scale, you can at, by just by sliding of your drafter scale, at one stage of your sliding, you will get a distance from the axis drawn axis and this uh, x y line in contact with the x y line this distance is marked in such a way by moving the draft scale like this so that the distance obtained will be 25 mm similarly another 25 will be at here just we extend this line so that you get another 25 above the axis and below the axis on this inclined line so whatever the distance at here the same will be at here from the axis this is this distance 3 5 will be this much 3 1 distance will be this much so overall what i want to say is this length is equal to this so it is uh, the contact point will be in the vertical plane that is the point 5 is the contact point in the vertical plane as the solid is tilted a turn at an angle of 40 degree inclined to the vp so in contact with this point 5 dash 5 1 5 suffix 1 on the xy line draw these lines so with the same setting of a drafter, draw these sort of lines using the another scale of a drafter like this. That is the 100 mm length. Then you can complete this rectangle, inclined rectangle. The size and shape of this rectangle, this rectangle and this rectangle will be the same. Only thing is it is a change, the orientation, it is inclined. The size will be the same and shape will be the same. So next you have to complete the final front view. So now you re reset your draft scale by releasing the nut in anti-clockwise, rotating, rotating the nut in anti-clockwise and you keep your longer scale of the scale in coincidence with the XY line and tight this draft scale nut by rotating it, it in clockwise. So first this ellipse is constructed which is fully visible. So, so with the same setting of your drafter after resetting from A suffix 1 draw a vertical projector using the vertical scale of your drafter and horizontal projector from this diagram that is a simple portion front view so both a will intersect at a point that is marked as a suffix 1 dash then you draw a vertical projector from b suffix 1 and horizontal projector from point b so both intersect at a point is marked as b suffix 1 dash similarly you repeat for all the points a b c d e f g you follow the order don't jump and mark the points go in order after a will be b b after c d e f g h so after locating these points draw a smooth curve passing through these obtained points the profile obtained will be ellipse so it is drawn by a smooth curve don't use a scale for this and after drawing the two ellipses ellipse then you join both the ellipse by lateral surface so both the ellipse are connected by means of lateral surface so join c one dash and seven one dash by using the horizontal scale of your drafter draw it by hp pencil Similarly, G suffix 1 dash connected with the 3 suffix 1 dash. So both cylinders, both the ellipses are connected. This is a cylinder called the final front view. So this is a sequence of drawing. First you have to complete this simple portion front view. So whenever there is a diagram related to cone, cylinder and all, first you have to complete the circle. In which view you will get the circle profile that you have to complete first. This first diagram, second third fourth this is a sequence of diagram to complete the final front view and top view then finally all dimensions are in mm is written below your diagram and the scale followed is one is to one so whatever the size given at uh, in the question is same is indicated in the diagram and followed in the diagram also not increased or decreased that is called as one is to one full scale is followed so this is how the drawing appears when drawn on the drawing sheet so practice well and good, get uh, good marks thanks thanks for listening